Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Instaprobe by Typher. Stick around. So, um, way back when on my channel, I started doing thermometer reviews. Um, I did a bunch from uh, a company called Thermapro, and I think I probably have three or four different reviews from them um, up on my channel. They're very even kind to me. They send me free thermometers in exchange for me reviewing it honestly, which I think is a good deal. Uh, but a side effect of that is that I get emails every week um, for different thermometers from different companies. Um, and a lot of the stuff is stuff I already have or stuff I've already tested and I, I don't need to rehash the same, you know, stuff. But this company recently co um, contacted me called Typher, which I'd never heard of before, so I started digging around. Um, after reading about them, this thermometer hasn't even been like sold to the public yet, I don't think. Um, it says it's going live in about a month, which would be probably March of 2023. Um, so they offered to send me one, and I'm going to check it out. As always, let's start with an unboxing. So it comes in this you know, pretty simple box here. I don't know if this is going to be the final... Um, production box for it or just the one they sent me in it but I uh, pull it out and you've got the uh, probe and you've got a couple batteries and an instruction booklet in there pretty cool some of the benefits about this one says it has a um, temperature read time of about a half a second which is pretty cool uh, I've got a couple chuck roasts on my smoker right now you'll look for that video coming up here in a couple weeks or so um, and I have my meter wireless probe in there and it says that the, the meat is about, you know, 145 degrees currently. So I'm gonna put in the Instaprobe and see how quickly it gets up to roughly 145. I may be sticking it in a slightly different section of the meat, so it may not be exactly 145, but you get the drift. The temperature stopped climbing well under a second. I mean, it was in there maybe a half second, maybe three quarters of a second, and then hit its final temperature, which is great. That's really quick. So if you're dealing with a hot situation, you need to get the thermometer in there real quick and get, uh, get it out. Pretty cool. Um, what I use for most of my cooks is actually this, my Thermapen by Thermaworks. This thing is perfect. I mean, it's waterproof. It's really accurate. Um, it has a read time of about three seconds. Okay, so this is actually the Thermapen Classic. This isn't the new one. The Thermapen uh, 1, I think it's called, has a much faster read time. So I won't be comparing it to this for its read time, but I will be comparing it for accuracy to see which one, um, you know, is more accurate when I'm doing it on some tests. Uh, let's compare it to the Thermapen in a couple categories. You, you can see that the weight of these things is identical. They both weigh about four ounces. And the length of the probe, the Thermapen, is about maybe an eighth of an inch longer than the Instaprobe, but that's not a big deal. Um, it's ambidextrous, so you can use it with either hand. You know, it goes all the way to straight like this, any angle like that. You know, the, the temperature flips over depending on which way you have it. Pretty cool. Pretty standard stuff. So as always, the first two tests I'm going to do is I'm going to do a boiling water test and I'm going to do an ice water test. Where I am here in Ohio... Uh, water boils at about 212 degrees. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for 212 or just under there for the temperature of my boiling the water. When I put my thermopen in there, you can see it bounces between, you know, 211, 212 degrees, which is really accurate. When I put the Instaprobe in there, it gets up to 211 and then it has like decimal points, which is something the thermopen doesn't have. And every time a bubble hits the tip of the probe, you can see it's bouncing like crazy, but it stays in between, you know, high 210 to, you know, 212 degrees. So again, pretty accurate. The other test I like to do is I like to do an ice water test. You can see with the thermopen right here, it gets to about 33 degrees, um, which is what I would expect for this. And same thing with the Instaprobe. You can see it goes down to, you know, 33, it even dipped below 33 for a little bit. So again, really, really accurate. One of the things I like about this, um, more so than the Thermapen, uh, is its look. I mean, this is really nice looking. Um, also, it has a magnet on the back, so you can just like hang it on your fridge and leave it there, or stick it on the back of your stove or something, and it can just sit there until you need it, which is pretty cool. I don't leave this out all that much because orange doesn't really go with my kitchen decor. Um, but, you know, this, this will go in. It's pretty much stainless steel and black, so you can just kind of stick it on anywhere. Let's take a second and talk about the pros and the cons of 
this Typher Instaprobe. Um, let's start with the cons. First thing I noticed, and I'll the probe doesn't have anything protecting the end of it when it's folded in. It could easily get caught on something and like bent or snapped or something. That's something I, I don't really like. Maybe just some sort of little plastic thing built into it that this tip nestles into so it stays protected. You can see on the thermopen how it's got this little slit there and you can just kind of protect it in there so it can't snag on anything. That would be something cool. Um, also, the screen, while it is backlit, it's really hard to read in direct sunlight. Um, I was out here cooking these chuck roasts before and I could not, I had to put my hand over it and like really get in there to see what it was. So some sort of brighter display uh, would be nice. Um, other cons, uh, the magnet is great. It's a little weak. I put it on my refrigerator a couple times and it slid down a couple inches before it came to a rest. So maybe another magnet somewhere back here, you know, something like that. Let's talk about the pros. Uh, first pro, um, the look. It's really cool looking. It's a nice slick design. You know, this is almost like if, if Apple designed a, a, designed a thermometer. Uh, the magnet is a nice plus. Even though I said it's a little weak, that's kind of cool. Um, the, the screen is really readable in all situations except direct sunlight, which I like. Another pro, the speed. I mean, under a second to get your final temperature is really, really nice. Uh, the accuracy is great too, which is really what you want in a thermometer, speed and accuracy. A couple little minor, minor tweaks, and this might be, you know, my favorite thermometer. Uh, I'm definitely going to use it a lot, and I'll probably report back to you in another video about what I think about it. Now, at the time of me making this video, it was only available on their website, and it was selling for $109, which makes it comparable to the new version of the Thermapen. The Thermapen 1, I think it's called, sells for about $99. I don't know if that's the price that's going to be um, the final price once they go live. I actually got an update from the people at Typher. The um, Instaprobe goes live on March 13th, 2023 on both typher.com and amazon.com. Uh, the full price is $109 US dollars, but there's going to be an early bird special where you can get $20 off, um, so it brings down to 89 bucks. That ends on March 26th. So check their website, it's typher, T-Y-P-H-U-R, Dot com. You can see all their sous vide stuff. You can see all whatever new products they come out with. It's a nice website. It actually is pretty pretty good. But overall, if you're looking for a really nice looking thermometer, if you're one of those people that likes things to go with your kitchen and match your stainless steel and you can leave it out all the time so you know where it is, uh, it might be a good choice for you. Really sleek design, really fast temperature, um, pretty good. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to me. Make sure you hit the bell down at the bottom so you get notifications anytime you, I make a new video. I'm trying to make a lot more videos once it starts warming up, so there should be some stuff coming up pretty soon. Um, also, follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram, at Dave's Ohio Barbecue. I also have a Facebook page. Just go to Facebook and search for Dave's Ohio Barbecue, and you should be able to find it. Um, and if you want, leave a comment down below. I read them all the time. If they're cool, I answer them. If you're saying something snarky, I just leave you alone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.